action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Crystal Palace. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Poor pass under no real pressure. Digne cuts it back. Douglas Luiz robbed them. Jeffrey Schlup. Mitchell. Jean Philippe Mateta. There to win it back. Ings. Oh, the ball lost here. Jean Philippe Mateta. Schlup. He's given it straight to the opposition. Doing well to keep possession. Watkins. How can they open up the defence here? Digne. Douglas Luiz. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. And he's fired over the corner. Can he finish here? Oh, great defending. Connor Gallagher. Are you? Klein. On to Mateta. Schlup. Could be troublesome. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Ramsey has it. And breaking at pace with Menace. Had a chance to whip it in here. However, nothing comes of it. Digne. Ings. And blocked for now. Klein. Kuyase now. Jean Philippe Mateta. And Zaha has it. High quality defending. Coutinho. Ollie Watkins. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Ings. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Wilfred Zaha. And Palace could get in behind the defence. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. 
He got a good palm on it. Not an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Over it comes, and no worries for the goalkeeper. Ings. Moving it forward. Ramsey has it. Now that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Tremendous challenge. Watkins. And Cash with it. Danny! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And over it comes. A decisive clearance it was. McGinn. Pressure on to clear his lines. Can he finish? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Now sending it in. A routine save. He's given it away. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Kuyate. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Well timed tackle. And there it is, the half time whistle. And as the second half commences. Both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Ings. Now with Mateta. Ayu. Gallagher. Jean-Philippe Mateta. And a strong tackle. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Oh, moving it nicely. Now Coutinho. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Are you Gallagher Jean Philippe Mateta? 
And Zaha has it. Going well. It looks promising. He'll take this on. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. And the short option preferred. Superb block. And super tackle and they've won possession. Douglas Luis. Cash. No possibilities in the centre. And offside it is. And time for the change now. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Cutting infield here. you cuts it back strong but fair tackle and showing fine vision Douglas Luis well a classic example of how to intercept Wilfried Zaha Mitchell Jean-Philippe Mateta Gallagher Will this corner bear fruit for them? Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. And over it comes. Now mopping up defensively. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. John McGinn. Ings. Ollie Watkins. Oh, that's an interesting pass. He got in the way of that cross. And snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. Played over. That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. <laughs> Delivering it. It hasn't come to very much. Dinia. Well, they have the ball once more. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved to book him for that.
Kuyase. 15 minutes left for play. Ezi. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Kuyase. Well, visionary passing. It could be up for grabs. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Substitution time it is here. Wilfried Zaha. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. again and now Coutinho level pegging but can they change that and a goal this is why we adore this game late drama and now they're in front well just look at this again it's a great finish he just caresses the ball beyond the goalkeeper it's a lovely goal A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Kuyase. And Zaha has it. And he read it well. And the emphasis is on creativity comes to nothing in the end how could he take them on and beat them well nothing comes of it it looked promising this might be ideal for the counter Zaha and running it back and the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes Anderson. Mitchell. Wilfried Zaha. Now what can they do from here? And a timely intervention. McGinn. Lucatinha. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. And that will do it. The final whistle is sounded and it goes into the books as a win for Aston Villa. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.